Welcome into this week's edition of Sports Extra. I'm Rob Clark, joined alongside Haley McCormick. Haley, crazy to think, but postseason is, is already here right, and yeah. just right around the corner for basketball. I know, it feels like it just started, but tonight we start off with some high school boys basketball. The second-ranked team in Class 3A, the Mankato East Cougars, looking to defend their home court against the Rochester Mayo Spartans. First possession of the game, Cougars Gandon Gosh with the block. MJ Oma in transition, gets the layup and the foul call. Pretty solid first time down the court for East. Not too long later, another transition bucket for East. Dwayne Bryant shifty with it, hard move to guard there. Wide open lane for Cougars, Brogan Madsen. That's a dangerous every time, can't catch the speed, and he'll lay this one in for two. East just doing their thing. A couple quick passes here. They find Oma in the corner, and that shot is money. Spartans, though, they're making things interesting here, keeping this game close. The bucket makes it a three-point game here, and at the half, East led by nine points, but they go on to cruise to an 83-63 victory. West on Highway 14, Sleepy Eye St. Mary's hosting Given Fairfax Winthrop. Alexander Johnson and GFW connects from deep. St. Mary's comes right back with a three of their own from Adam Steffensmeyer. GFW call and response. Brenner Peterson splashes this one from beyond the arc. T-Birds stay hot from there. Easton Taylor with the long three. GFW in transition now. Taylor attacks the hoop for two more. It's close and sleepy eye. Nice. Will Walter cashes in for three of his 18 on the night. Brandon Schmitz does his part with the sharp shooting from beyond the arc. St. Mary's down early, but the Knights fight all the way back to win by a final of 63-57 in a close one. Moving over to the Fairmont, the Cardinals boys basketball team hosts the Wyndham Area Eagles on the hardwoods where Levi Pooley is ready to hit 1,000 points. Eagles down 33-23 to, to start the second. Elizas Jensen finds Eli Lund from behind the line, drains it to get some Eagles momentum going early. Easy pickings for the Eagles here. It's Lund again. Breaking past everyone, he floats through the air for the layup, cutting the Cardinals' lead to five. Fairmont starting to wake up, putting the ball in Pooley's hands, puts up the jumper. It's in for the Cardinals' first points of the half. 41-28, to Pooley just points away from 1K. Joseph Hackett dishes it out to Pooley from way downtown and sinks it to earn his way to the 1,000th club. Lots of love from the fans here tonight, and the Cardinals take off from there getting the win with a final of 76 to 46. Over to some girls high school basketball. First game tonight features Janesville Waldorf Pemberton Bulldogs taking on Waterville Elysian Morristown. Buccaneers up four in the first. Garbolin kicks it out to Tiana Pope from behind the arc. She drills the three. Wem up by seven late first. The record broke tonight for the Buccaneers. Deserves a highlight. Elena Atherton says, not in my house. Swats it away. She became the new leader in blocks for Wem. Second half, Presley James finds a cutting Willie really Strauss. Easy two for the Bulldogs, trying to stay in it. Here comes JWP. A steal by James. Goes in for the easy layup. All of a sudden, it's only a five-point lead for Wem early in the second half. JWP with the strong second half at the final buzzer. They win it 54-48 over Wem. Next high school girls basketball game, the Mankato West Scarlets hosting the Winona Windhawks. In the second half, Scarlets lifty downs with the steal. She'll take it all the way in for the layup here. Scarlets chipping away at Winona's lead, downs to Ella Mullenbach. From downtown, she likes the deep three. Stay tuned till the end of the show. You might be seeing another one of those Caitlin Clark threes again from Mullenbach. And again, it's Mullenbach here with another three. West does trail by 24 points. Downs with the bucket, with the cut in the bucket down low. West still trails, and in the end, Winona wins this one by a final of 66 to 45. A lot of great action there, and it seems like every time Mankato East hits the floor, it, it, it's a W. Just uh, the one loss on the year so far. Yeah, they're fun, fun team to watch, that's for sure. We'll be back with more Sports Extra after the break. <laughs> 